Good morning everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Good morning, Sunday morning. Hope everybody had a great Saturday. And the sun is out here in Rochester, it's lovely. The sun is out, it's warm and let's hope it stays that way. So good morning, Sunday. Um, Sunday is a day where I just catch up with my household work to be fair so washing up, washing, cleaning, tidying up what the dog and the cats have done which I do every day anyway but more which is like hoovering, mopping up cleaning up that's what I do on a Sunday um, I also I'm gonna do a shopping list because I need to get some bits and pieces I've got enough money to get some the bits and pieces I need today and then I shall carry on until later on in the week so I need coffee I need cat food, the cats get through a hell of a lot of cat food, and I've got dog food, I've always got plenty of dog food. Um, so yeah, coffee, something to eat for today, um, I've got tins in the fridge, so I've got, I could make myself a meal with pasta and chicken, I've got chicken korma, I've got the chicken korma, I've got the rice, so uh, there's plenty of food. But I do need like the little bits that you need like to top everything up, like some bread and milk and bits and pieces like that. So I'm going to have to get that. And I do like to read a newspaper on a Sunday. That's something else I used. To, that's that's what I've done since I was a teenager. Read my mum and dad's newspapers. So I like to get a Sunday newspaper and sit down with the paper. I've always done that. So it's something I've kept up and <clears throat> most of the newspapers have remained the same. Uh, there used to be the News of the World which is no longer in print but most of the newspapers are the newspapers that I used to read as a young teenager. They haven't really changed. My mum used to read a magazine, it was an Amer American magazine called Titbits full of American snippets and American news. Um, the only thing that I really knew about my mother was that she was a member of the Elvis Presley fan club. Because as you do when you're a kid and you find your mum's bits and pieces, like your, your mum's in the bath or your mum's gone down the shop. I, I was a kid and I went down my mum's little bag where she kept her little bits in, not a handbag, like bits with the photographs, bits and I, I found an Elvis Presley little red case with Elvis Presley's like picture in and my mum was a member of the Elvis Presley fan club. So there's an American content to all of this, isn't there? American, we have a lot to do with America, don't we? we get American films. So a lot of the work, uh, films I watch on Netflix uh, 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 generated in the USA, America. So America and Great Britain, isn't it? Last night, I live by myself. I was trying to find myself someone to just to share my life with but it doesn't work like that for me because since I was a little girl I've been exploited and I've been used and I don't know who started it or where it came from but it's continued right up to my middle age. I, I live re relatively uh, not a poor life, I'm not poor, I wouldn't class myself as poor um, I'm not on the streets, I'm not begging, but I'm not living a fantastic life. I'm not living life to its full potential. 
I'm not living like I should be because I, I'm being exploited, used in either a sexual way or someone's just ripping, rip, ripping me off, ripping me off. So I'm guarded, I'm, I'm being guarded, but not for my protection, for whoever's doing this to me protection. They don't care about me, they're not looking after me, they're looking out for themselves in case they get caught at what they've been doing and what they're still trying to do now. And somewhere along the line, my own mother is involved in it. Yet again, I was, I was given a purple pen, a purple pen, when I went round there on Thursday. So the Wednesday before that, you know, over a week, the Wednesday after the, before the Wednesday, my mum had given me a pink pen. They're not my pens. They weren't my pens. That guy off of FaceTime was asking me what colour underwear I was wearing and why does it tag in with my mother? What's going on? She's my mum and a mum should protect. A mum should protect. I, I am going to tell you a couple of things, right? I don't like saying this, but I'm going to say it. My mum, when my dad was abusing me, my mum said I was the age of consent. I was over the age of 40. And I could make my own mind up. And I want to reiterate what my dad to me Never, ever was it consensual. It wasn't consensual what my dad did to me. I didn't consent to it. I didn't agree to it. I was forced into it. When I came down to Chatham in 2008, I wanted my parents to help me get my child out of care. I ended up getting sexually assaulted by my father and raped allegedly because he's dead now anyway the police failed to even arrest him when he was alive they did nothing in fact they tried to blame it on me and have me arrested for what my father did to me and from then on i was forced to keep my mouth shut right so my mum said i was of consenting age i was over the age of 40 I could make my own mind up I was a vulnerable woman I had a black eye I was escaping domestic abuse and I was in turn abused again by one of my parents my mother was acting mad when I came down from Chatham I'd never seen my mother act as bad as that it was all put on. I was set up. I was taken away from my children and I believe my children were abused as well while I, whilst I was taken away from my kids. Okay? When I went up there on Thursday, my mother said to me the same thing. This guy asking me to expose my breasts on FaceTime, asking me to sit in front of a camera naked with no clothes on when I've never met this man. How does this tie in with my mother? I don't know. The taxi drivers I take up to my mum's and I come back in are organised by my mother. 
when I get taxis, they're different drivers. They're not the same ones. When I order taxis myself, my mother's taxi drivers are all Asian because she keeps talking to me as if I'm Jennifer and I'm Janestra, her daughter. And my life is being put in danger. I've already had to report one taxi driver for nearly smashing into another car because he wasn't concentrating on his driving and doing what he should have been doing. He was listening to a loud radio. Too loud. They were making phone calls. They were making noises. They were making fun of me, some of them. And not driving properly. So my mum said to me, well, you know, you know what you're doing, don't you, Janestra? I am not being exploited anymore. I'm not being used for sex. If I find myself in danger, I will call 999. And I will stand there until the police actually come out. And if they don't, I'll keep ringing them until they do. I keep going up onto that field. There's people almost having sex on benches. Is that some kind of joke, is it? Is it funny? You know, I'm tortured. Uh, I'm tortured. I, I can't have a boyfriend. I'm supposed to be a Tom, a prostitute. I'm nearly 60. I find it really amazing that someone could suggest that at my age. I, I, the, the rape, I, allegedly I was raped in 2008 and it was the same sort of thing. I don't even think the police have even filed reports. I watched a film on Netflix yesterday where a corrupt police officer wasn't even filing reports on women that had had their purses stolen. He would actually go back to their flats, this corrupt police officer, and try and have sex with them. He wasn't interested in... He had the belief that, that women were slags. Some men do. They're just there for their sexual pleasure. Some men actually think women are just there to sexually pleasure them. And that's it. Right? So now you know, you know what my mother said to me. She said, you're at the age of consent. I'd reported what my dad had done to me to the police two or three times. I don't even know if they were real police. Well, they, if they were real police, they were corrupt. Wherever I went to report my father and what he was doing to me, I was not taken seriously and nobody did anything about it. On one occasion, I was shunted off to Seaford. Lewis, a women's refuge in Lewis in Seaford, which is in Kent, miles away from my family, and I would have been left on my own, probably to die, because I had no money and no form of support. The proprietress of Seaford Women's Refuge was called Jenny, which is my mother's name, and all she was interested in, the day after that I'd got into that refuge, you've got to go and get money for the rent, you've got to sort the rent out. And I said, I've been on to the job centre. They said they can only give me five pounds for now. She went, well, you're going to have to go on the bus to get that five pounds. And I said, well, the bus fare is going to... Co no one would drive me to the job centre. I was in a strange place called Seaford. I didn't know where anything was. I could have got kidnapped. I could have got lost. I could have got run over. And I was told to go and find the job centre on the bus where I didn't know where I was. A woman's refuge has a duty of care to look after battered and abused women, not put them in danger and frighten them. Be 
because they're playing a silly game. Janestra, Jennifer, Janestra, Jennifer. They were making out it was my mother in the woman's refuge running away from Derek when it was me running away from my father. And the more they hide it, the more they hide it, the more they hide it, the worse it'll get for them. And now I'm just hidden in this block of flats, right, out of the way, and they think they've got away with it, all of them. And please do tell me what my mother's involvement in it is, because a mother's supposed to protect you and help you, not save her own skin and put everybody uh, that she knows in danger. <laughs> and giggle, 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 and pretending she's mad isn't going to wash anymore. It's not going to wash pretending she's mad. It's not going to wash with me. What, what I, 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 I don't know what performance that was on Thursday, right? But telling me to get out after what's been done to me, that's not very nice. <laughs> you, tell, you shout at someone to get out of your flat, acting like my dad did. He told me to fuck off. Yeah. Because I'd served my purpose. He'd sexually assaulted me over a number of years. And he threw, he, he, that's it, I've had enough of you. You know, you won't do that anymore. Get out. What's my mother playing at? What's she playing at? Ringing my phone three, four times a day when she shouted at me to get out of her flat on Thursday. What's she playing at? Either someone's play acting, right, and talking about Charles and Camilla all the time. That's all she does. She's fed up with Charles and Camilla doing that. She's Charles and Camilla are this and that. Can somebody please tell me what the fuck is going on? And I've confronted her as well. I said, I said, this is all fake, isn't it, Mum? It's all fake. All the people, all their stupid surnames, it's all fake. I said, was this going on when I was at school? A little innocent school kid, not what, knowing what the fuck is going on. Was this happening at school, was it, Mum? And that's why she got fucking like she did. Because I asked her, was it like this when I was at school? You know, being abused in a classroom humiliated in classrooms was it going on when I was a kid and I didn't shout at her I just asked her politely I said all this what's going on now was it going on when I was a little girl at school and she couldn't answer it it's too late for apologies I would like compensation, you know. I think I fucking deserve it after what I've been through. I'm not putting up with anybody sexually abusing me anymore. And, right, and if people want to exploit their body parts in public, don't do it in front of me. I've had enough of abuse, if thank you very much. There's a time and a place for having sex, and it's not outside. See you later.